facing this Paul Chatterjee. And straight away is into his drive, but he's dropped it cover. Fortuitous start to his innings. And he picks up a position on this young man, Mel Mazunda. So far, he's handled it very well. He's played a lovely drive through mid wicket. All these young players, so good off their feet, using their wrists delightfully well against Prashant right there. One should have ruled him not out. Mazumdar back over Avinash Kumar's head. And that's going to be four runs. Like. And as if to add insult to injury, he's just been clobbered through the covers by Amol Mujumdar, who made a lot of room for himself to play that shot. But this is Subrata Banerjee back in the attack. It's been fooled around by Mujumdar. Didn't quite get hold of it. It's gone down to deep mid wicket. But it will be fooled in just inside the line. They should get two rather easily. In fact, they're going for the third. Bhave is going to have to hurry once he is gone. This really is tragedy for West Zone. Just when Bhavi was well set, look at the replay. It's been fooled away by Majumdar over mid wicket. Fielder from deep square leg, that's Amir Roy, has come round. And by then, the batsman has taken two. Bhavi has rather fatally decided to go in for the third. There's a throw coming in. Bhavi off your picture now. Banerjee picking at the ball, just slipping, but he's got such a lot of time to run Bhavi out, and he'd almost given up in any case. So that's the second wicket gone. Bhave is out for 79. And some success at last for E-Zone. The new man, Samir Dighe. Good ball from Banerjee. Immediately getting one back for E-Zone. E-Zone are the holders of the Devda Trophy. He's in a spot of trouble at the moment. And that's one reason why. Because this man, Amul Mujumdar, is timing the ball very well already. It's a single. Mujumdar gets into the action, pulling that ball way down behind square, and it really should have been stopped on the line, but it's a very easy on side now. Subrata Banerjee giving enough room for Mujumdar to play that shot. Deep behind square. He really, this is the sign of a tired field inside. So, last ball coming up for West Zone. It's Subrata Banerjee bowling it. To Amol Mujumdar, who certainly was aggressive in intention, but he'll only get a single because he's found the fielder well there at mid-off. And just a run of the last ball of the innings. And this West Zone onslaught has finally ended. They've scored 278 for three, and that must be some relief for each. Also in this show, we talk the informed youngster Amol Mujumdar. Surely a test star in the making. Uh, first ball I was with under 19 in England. Mm, I didn't get many runs, yeah. but um, when I came back and... Uh, played my first class game over your first game, Irani Trophy. I got a uh, few runs in the second innings. That gave me confidence. And uh, I think uh, my first Dilip Trophy game, I got a 100 on my debut. So it's pretty good now. Let's break from the action to meet the busy West Zone batsman, Amol Mazumda. Uh, first of all, I was with under 19 in England. Mm, I didn't get many runs there. But um, when I came back and uh, played my first class game over your first game, Irani Trophy. I got a uh, few runs in the second innings. That gave me confidence. And uh, I think uh, my first Dulip Trophy game, I got a 100 on my debut. So it's pretty good now. It's certainly an impressive start. Do you feel any nerves when you go into the first first class game, the first Irani Trophy game? Uh, not really, because I made my first class debut last year when I played for Bombay in the Ranji Trophy against Haryana. I got a uh, good score there, a pretty big score, so I wasn't nervous. I mean, as general as a character, do you find that you get worried by occasions, or do you let just things happen to you? Um, I just like to things happen to me, because I don't, I'm not uh, that anxious, I'm not that curious about it, so um, I let things happen, and as it comes, I take it. I know you get plenty of publicity here in India about you, your cricket background and all the rest of it, but can you tell us exactly where you learned your cricket, who taught you your cricket? Uh, yes, because um, I come from Bombay, so I think it's the heart of Indian cricket, where the, you know, cricket is played the hard way. And um, I learned my cricket all over there, and uh, my father used to play cricket in Bombay. And when I came in touch with Atsrikar sir, who is my coach, 
right now. Um, that really turned my, I think, changed my uh, cricketing life. So who were the cricketers you grew up watching in Bombay? I played my school cricket with Sachin and Vinod. Um, I played my college cricket with Sachin as well. And then I'm, at the moment I'm serving with Sangresh Mahutlal with Sachin and Vinod again. So I, I think I um, learned a lot of cricket from them, both of them. Uh, they used to score a lot of new scores, so I, I learned many things from them. Did you have a hero when you were growing up, a particular cricketer you looked up to? Yes, Sunil Gaskar was my hero. Well, what was his strengths as far as you were concerned? Every, everybody in the world knows about his strengths. Can I ask about yourself as a, as a batsman? How would you describe yourself as a batsman? Have you a particular style? I, I think I, um, I'm, a, I'm a player which, uh, you know, I don't, I, don't, I want to stay on the wicket. So I don't, uh, I hate to get, you um, throw away my wicket. I prize my wicket much. So I think uh, I'm a, I like to get big scores, not uh, 30-40s and get out. Do you find you prefer five-day cricket or one-day cricket? As I told, I take things as it comes. Any Anything will do. Uh, one day I have to play it. Two days cricket is such that I have to shift. Because we are playing a one-day game today and uh, a day's gap and again a Friday game. So we should adjust to both the situations.